Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs and for this review we are looking at the long-awaited new Wolverine figure from the juggernaut wave of X-Men Marvel Legends. Now, last year at Comic-Con I was at the Hasbro booth and I wasn't talking to the people there, but I was listening to the conversations as I was taking some photos, and I heard Dwight Stahl mention that he had a Wolverine in the works, which was by far the best Wolverine, the perfect Wolverine figure. He was just waiting for the right time for it to be able to get released. I'm assuming this is it, because it's now been nearly a year since that point. Seems like this is the one. It's got the new mold and everything like that. And I have to say, after looking back at the other figures, the previous Wolverines we've gotten, which I'll show you soon enough, he's probably right. This is probably the best Wolverine to date. I also have to say, after looking back at the past figures, that's not saying much, because, oh my goodness, these figures are... I don't remember them being so bad. But let's, let's just get this guy off the stand so we can take a closer look. Okay, so this guy stands roughly five and three quarter inches tall, which makes him just about 14 and three quarter centimeters, right around there. So he's definitely shorter. So things that come to mind when I see this figure. One, he's definitely shorter. That's a good thing. Wolverine's generally shorter. That's good. No problems there. Two, anatomy. Some of the anatomy on this figure is super wonky. Very weird. We'll go through it as I do the articulation. And three, paint. It's not the most elaborate paint job in the world, and they somehow did a horrible job with it. And I'll talk about that as we go through the rest of the figure, too. Uh, he does come with two accessories, kind of more, and that is, or those are, interchangeable hands. He has two fist hands without any claws or holes or anything like that. So just two plain old fist hands. And then the two hands that come on the figure in the package have removable claws, much like the Comic-Con Wolverine and the Astonishing one. We've seen a few now that have the removable claws. This guy has them too. But if you look at the hand, uh, they don't come out where the claws are supposed to come out. There's a, there's a significant gap in between the claws and the little metal thing. So that's not great. Other thing that's not great is the claws are made out of this not particularly good looking metallic supposedly colored plastic. They should have painted them to look like the metal claws from the Comic-Con Wolverine. They kind of look like they're white, like kind of milky looking, so it's not ideal. Uh, new head sculpt, I do like it. It's pretty square and stocky and pretty good looking, and I like the way they did the ear things for the most part. Uh, I don't really like the way there's that really... I almost swore just now. I'm not allowed to swear in these videos. There's a really bad line going around the back of the lower part of his head, which does not look good at all. Uh, the eyes are painted well enough, but they are silver, so that looks a little bit weird. And the head's sitting too high up on the neck, which is already way too big. A lot of people complain about the face-off Cap's neck. Uh, this guy's neck is even bigger. I mean, relatively speaking, it's just weird, not well sculpted. So if you look at the head, it can uh, go like that or like that, which means it's sitting too high on the ball peg. Once again, look how weird that looks. That's not even close to good. Even when you bring it all the way forward, look at that. The only time it's even remotely acceptable is when you lean him all the way back like that. Otherwise, it's super goofy looking and it sits way too high on the neck and makes him look really weird because he's got way too much neck to everything else. One good thing though, one of the good things, is the butterfly joint on this guy is phenomenal. It goes all the way forward, which still looks weird because of the neck, but at least the joint itself works, and all the way back. Now I know it screws with the anatomy there, but you can't help that, so that's fine. The arms go back really far, even farther if you really want them to, which is <laughs> probably too far, but you can do it, and it works really well, so I like that. Uh, they go almost all the way out, so that's all right. Your bicep swivel's there, so that's good. The shoulder anatomy itself, the shoulder is really weird. It's kind of tiny and has this weird lump in it. And then the, the bicep and the tricep area, really weird. It looks, it's really bulbous and very, very unnatural looking. Forearms are fine though, so that's good. You have your double jointed elbow, which does give you better than 90 degrees. Again, you can get get away with that ugly bicep anatomy, but it's just not good. And there's no sculpt, by the way, for the gloves. It's just painted on, so that's kind of a bummer. And the wrists have a swivel, obviously, because they're interchangeable and a hinge. You're going to have to pose the crap out of this guy to hide all these weird aspects to the sculpt. Uh, the ab crunch works pretty well. You can lean him, you know, pretty far forward. That's good. I like that. 
You can lean him pretty far back. It's not terrible. Uh, paintwork on the torso is atrocious. The yellow is painted rather than molded, and it's super translucent. This side is definitely a lighter shade than this side, and you can see brown coming through just about everywhere. It looks pretty bad. The belt is a floating belt, but the paint job on it is nowhere near clean, nowhere near accurate. Very poorly done. So you can lift that up, and then you do have a waist twist, though. Or you can leave it down and kind of force the waist twist. So that's okay. No big deal there. For the hips, let's see. I haven't even tried the hips, really. They can come all the way forward, but they end up going out to the side just a little bit. As far as going out to the side, uh, about 45 degrees. Nothing impressive, but definitely good enough. They go back just a tiny bit. Thigh swivel works fine, no big deal. Double jointed knees, they work fine. That's that's normal. We do have a boot swivel in here, so that's pretty good. The ankle goes a little bit forward, but not very far. And then all the way back, and you get your ankle rocker. Now, the boots themselves are sculpted really well. I love the boots. Uh, the feet seem too big, though, especially considering he's a lot shorter than your average figure. His feet seem really long. And here's the thing. The hinge makes the foot not square to the uh, to the ankle and to the rest of the leg. It just throws it off at a funny angle. So you can see there, when you put the foot straight down, it's actually not straight down, and it's weird. So ultimately, is this the best Wolverine figure? Yes. And we're going to get the other ones out in just a second to show you. And are you going to be able to hide all of those problems in posing it? Some of them. You can't hide bad paint. You can hide weird anatomy and stuff like that sometimes, um, but you can't hide bad paint. All right, let's get out the other Wolverines and comp not really compare them, but just kind of show you. Because I want you to see how bad those old ones are. I didn't realize it. This guy definitely looks better in comparison. And like I said, he's he is the best. There's no doubt about it. Uh, but these other ones... Didn't give him much competition. And I'll adjust the camera once I get him out there. I still kind of like this original Toy Biz one. Or at least the uh, Red Hulk version of it. Uh, this one, I thought it was better than it is. It's pretty lousy, especially if you look at the face. And then one other one I wanted to include in this just because I wanted to see if the heads were interchangeable at all. I don't remember it being anywhere near this bad is the uh, Dokken or Dakin because that's how I originally heard it and it stuck in my head that way. So we have, really, for such a popular character, such a main character, we have a bunch of lousy Wolverine figures. So it's easy to see why the new one is the best one. It's not really a fair comparison because they are all so bad prior to this one. So it is easily, hands down, by far the best. So there you go, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. I have new videos every single day. We talk about all kinds of fun stuff like action figures, custom figures, video games, movies, TV shows. We had to do unboxings, lots of stuff. So make sure you check back, see if there's something you want to watch. And in the meantime, keep collecting.